What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to bring you my quick initial first impressions of this is the Nuna Exec, uh, which is a very, very expensive car seat. Uh, probably not something I'd recommend <clears throat> for everybody out there, uh, but it is something that you can keep up to 120 pounds. So kind of go through a few things here. Uh, I bought this new directly from uh, the Nuna website. It is $750. So a lot to stomach, but we have a two and a half, well actually he's just about three. We have a three-year-old uh, who's grown out of his previous one and I bought an old, like a Bredix car seat, but I really did not like it. Uh, so I ended up selling that and getting this because I have the Nuna Raba, which is the, the smaller version of this that just goes to 65 pounds. That has been converted over to our infant uh, car seat. So I uh, splurged and bought this. Uh, and the first impressions I know about this is the build quality on this is excellent. Uh, you really get, the Britix one I bought was the, uh, it's also another form one where it goes to 120 pounds, uh, but it was about 399 and you can definitely tell a difference in the price point. This thing is significantly, it may not be safer, but I just feel like it has a more solid, more, uh, I don't wanna say luxurious, but it just feels more comfortable. Our toddler really loved the Nuna Rava. Uh, just for how comfortable it is. So it has a lot more padding on it. Uh, everything just seems uh, like it, this thing doesn't wobble as much as the Britix one. The Britix one, this thing almost felt like it would fall off when you moved it up and down. Um, so I've been really happy with that. Uh, it does come in different colors. Uh, the, the cups here fold in, which I like if you're wanting to try to, uh, <coughs> doesn't seem like it stays in. Uh, if you're wanting to try to maybe do a little bit more compact design, you can fold those in. Some of those you can't. Uh, the Britix one was a little bit wider, so it, uh, it was a little more difficult to get in and out. Uh, but uh, I've been pretty happy with, with that. Uh, I'm not going to do a real in-depth review. These are very easy to install, very easy to adjust. Uh, I just have the anti-rebound bar, which I'm a huge safety person, especially when it comes to car seats. I know they're all probably pretty safe, uh, but the car is the most dangerous spot for a toddler or any type of child. Uh, so I splurged and got this. I will get a more long-term review of it up, but so far, first impressions, if you have the new Naraba and you're looking at this, do not hesitate to get this because it is essentially a new Narava just goes to a booster seat also. If you're looking at the new Narava and this, I would get this over that because it goes from infant all the way to 120 pounds. Uh, you do get a ton of accessories with this. Uh, so there's a literally huge bag. I do not have it. Oh, actually I do have it with me. Hold on one second. You get this huge bag of accessories. Uh, so essentially you get all kinds of uh, that's part of the infant thing. You get this huge bag of accessories. I took most of the stuff out. It was for the infant, like uh, if you're doing infant. But you get different shoulder pad, different uh, shoulder uh, padding. There's just all kinds of stuff that you may not use, but you can use if you want. Uh, this does not come off to wash. That's probably one of the negatives. It's not the easiest one to keep clean. That's why I went with the darker color, actually. Maybe this does come off. I don't think the Nuno Rava one does. Actually, no, I don't think it, it may come off, but the Nuno Rava one doesn't. I don't ever plan on taking this off, uh, but that's it. This is what $750 buys you. It's a little bit of a splurge, probably not the most logical, but it's gonna go to 120 pounds. So we're gonna be using this um, probably for the next five, six, seven plus years. So. Uh, you get what you pay for if you're in the market for a car seat and you want one that's really nice. It also has this magnetic thing out here on the side that you can put, it actually holds that. That's pretty cool, I do like that. Uh, the other one had like these little inserts you put them in, which was a good design also. Uh, I'll get a more long-term review of this up and compare it against the Britix one, uh, but so far, I've been really happy with it. It may not fit in all cars. It is a little bit on the larger side. Uh, that's probably one of the negatives. For example, we have our infant car seat over here, which we're no longer using because our infant, well, he's not an infant anymore. He's eight months old. Uh, let's see if I can get them side by side. There's a significant difference in size when it comes to uh, like a four-in-one and an infant car seat. Just, this only goes to 
I don't even know how many pounds, but he's already outgrown the height on it. So uh, it's just make sure it fits in your car. That's one thing I would mention before you buy it. Uh, boxing, packaging, shipping was all great. Uh, so that's something to keep in mind. So that's it. Comments, questions, leave them below. This was not organized, uh, but it may give an idea of who this may be for, may not be for. Car seats last for a very long time if you buy them to 120 pounds. So get the one you like that's going to be most comfortable for your kid. And that's it. Have a good rest of the day, weekend, whatever it is out there, and I'll see you guys next time.